So that there are desires within us. Allah tells us in the Quran, وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا And the nafs, what is the nafs? It's these urges that are inside of us, inside of this body of ours, which contain conscience and which contain urges and desires of good and bad. وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا Allah gave it the tendency to do good and the tendency to do evil. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا He who purifies this nafs takes it zakka, meaning to lift it away from indecency, lift it away from filth, lift it, guard it, guard it away from what it calls him to do. The nafs tells you, try that wine. Everybody talks about it. As a Muslim, I wonder why it's, it's forbidden. Try it. Try to see what's special about it. I mean, there's a secret in there. Try zina. Everybody talks about how good it is. Why don't you go give it a try? Try this drug. Everybody says that he has some feelings. I don't know what it is. The desire tells you, give it a go. Just do it. <laughs> Nike, just do it. All right, that term. You've got to be careful how far you use these terms. Go ahead. So long, now it's people say today in the Western world, so long as you don't harm anyone. Ya ikhwan, there is harm in harming yourself. Once you harm yourself, you're going to harm other people. Allah knows best what He has created. Why we see that a human being goes deep into something and then originally they thought, I didn't want to go that deep, but suddenly they find themselves deeper than what they thought. Hands up those of you who this has never happened to them before. <laughs> that you've never gone into something that you know you think to yourself I know it's wrong but I'm not gonna go too deep and then suddenly you find yourself deeper than what you thought yeah. I'll give you an example maybe for the Shabab the young people over here you know I want to meet that girl she's urged my desire I think I love her really it's no real love it's just a desire I won't go too deep I'll just get her number and we'll just chit chat over the internet you know in my free time when I'm bored we'll just chit chat and fill my time right you think to yourself, it's just chit-chatting, man, what am I going to do? I'm not going to do anything worse than that. Or, you know, they talk about music, how beautiful it is. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to listen to a bit of R&B, a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of uh, techno, something like that. And I'll just, I won't go too deep. You know, all those people who go really deep, I'm not like them. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to monitor myself. I think I can tr control myself. My brothers and sisters in Islam, anything Islam has forbidden, he knows Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that it will do something to your desire in which it will take you deeper than what you thought. So then you find yourself going further and further away. Just on a side note, I read about this uh, past scholar. I think it was a tabi'i, 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 it existed probably in the third generation after the Prophet ﷺ. He says, I went to sleep and I dreamt and I saw Iblis. He came to me and said, I'm Iblis. And I said to him, how is your strength against the human beings lately? And he said, Iblis said to me, you know, before I used to give them ideas. Now they're giving us ideas. The human is giving the shaitan ideas. And truly we have gone way beyond Allahu Akbar, the sins which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden, we've gone way beyond that. Don't, don't let me even start on how far human beings have gone with their imagination, colorful imagination in sins.